The heart is the one organ that we can actually feel working. But we tend to take it for granted, unless we feel it beat a little too fast for no apparent reason. Perhaps you've experienced a cardiac shake or shimmy that came out of nowhere. Sixteen years ago, chemist Henry Schaefer started feeling those bad vibrations, and they got worse. Feeling of exhaustion is how you feel. In my case, it is, it's, the pattern usually went something like beat, 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 beat. So, you know, too much time between beats and too little time between beats. Pastor and author Max Lucado became suspicious when running uphill was no longer routine. Then other symptoms showed up. I remember one time being in the middle of a, a phone call and my heart rate jumped up and I just kind of measured it, you know, by my own simple means and it was about 140. And, and you talk about disconcerting and distracting, hard to focus, fatigue, uh, irregular heart rate. It was somewhat like I had a Morse code going on inside my chest. Cardiologist John Onifer says don't panic. It's okay to be a little offbeat. So we can bend down and stand up, cough or roll over and we're all going to get a skip beat. And, and those aren't, are for the most part benign. Um, we don't want to make everybody a cardiac cripple for every single skip beat. And those arrhythmias shouldn't be a surprise because many substances can scramble the electrical signals that stimulate the heartbeat. Illegal, prescription and over-the-counter drugs. Caffeine, alcohol, and tobacco. Car fumes and industrial air pollution. In most individuals, it's nearly impossible to know the exact cause. To understand more, Onifer says remember the heart is partly an electrical system with the potential for extra sparks, bad connections, and short circuits. Where there's one electrical pathway connecting abnormally across another area and it short circuits on heart itself and causes a real rapid racing heartbeat. Lucado and Schaefer are among the two million sufferers of the most common rhythm problem, atrial fibrillation, or AFib. AFib's erratic patterns result from a variety of those electrical problems occurring in the upper chambers of the heart. Treatments include drugs that limit the misfiring and cardiac ablation. Doctors send a wire through a blood vessel to the heart to burn out cells that are misfiring. Schaefer first tried nutritional approaches, then a wide variety of drug combinations. And the only one that ever really worked was this medicine called amiodarone, which is a very, quite a dangerous medicine as well. It kind of destroys your body in 17 different ways. Uh, yeah, but it did work for a while, it, the, the last couple of years. In addition to drugs like amiodarone, most AFib patients take Coumadin, a drug that thins the blood. Nobody dies of atrial fibrillation. Uh, you, you die of a stroke, which the atrial fibrillation brings on. Basically, if your heart's beating irregularly, uh, these clots, you know, the blood's not moving around in all the places, clots form, give a stroke, and you die. Some less serious arrhythmias may only require some Coumadin and little, if any, other medication. But with amiodarone not working, Schaefer had to weigh the chances of stroke versus the risk of death from a heart procedure. You know, in the business I'm in, University research and, and teaching, you know, if you have a stroke, it doesn't help you. <laughs> so, uh, so I figured it was, it was worth a try, and in the providence of God, I'm still here. That ablation surgery worked well for six months, and then not as well. So he's back on the amiodarone, but at a much smaller and safer dose. He's grateful to God for the improvement and will consider having the surgery done again. For Lucado, surgery in late 2007 seems to have been more effective. So far, he's needed no other help but a healthy lifestyle, which helps fight arrhythmias and more. Exercise is critical. Uh, it, it would be easy to say that just about all of us don't get enough exercise, myself included. Um, part of that's just how we've engineered it out of our days. And a good diet goes hand in hand with exercise to get the most out of God's gift. And he can use physical discomfort or physical challenges to strengthen my character, to embolden my testimony, or even to awaken, awaken me to the importance of eternity. Is it in a sense amazing that we don't have more problems considering how often our heart beats and how complex it is and all of that? It is a, a, the most fantastic, I guess I, I'm a little biased, but it's a, it's a spectacular arrangement. Uh, the way God gave all us mammals this uh, system and the backups and related to it, it's just, it's spectacular. Galen Tethro, CBN News.